Well, the soda fountain used to be a fixture in a lot of American drugstores. Yeah, Marty's checking out one pharmacy that's recreated it. Hello, Marty. We are loving the vibe here. Meg, Cena, you would love the vibes in here. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, TV's not doing it justice. Chuck's actually going to make a legitimate soda fountain soda. You know, we were talking about maybe we'll make a milkshake, but when was the last time you saw, you know, carbonated soda water? You, you, you've made a soda about it. Um, Jim, you were telling me that you actually have wait lists for lunch? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays are kind of our busiest times, and I've got 39 seats, and we fill it pretty quick, especially during lunch, 12, 1230. And you, you, you also, like, you're open at 8? Yes. 8 to 8. Do you do breakfast? We just do coffees, muffins, like uh, complimentary, just to keep the store going. Yeah, because while we were waiting to go on, a couple of people came in and, and, and got to go orders. But, you know, you were telling me that, and again, this has been a landmark in Dundalk for 68 years. We're actually doing local landmarks every once in a while, a segment. This just kind of fell into our laps. We're here because of the soda fountain. But some of your old-time customers, some of, some, some of the more seasoned veterans walking through the door, does this blow their mind? Oh, absolutely. They love it. They, it's like they're walking back in time. So it's great for them. It's, it's great for their grandkids. It's great for the families. Uh, you know, every, 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 there's something for everyone here. Yeah, I mean, uh, as I asked you in the break, I said, do people bring their kids... Chuck, people bring their kids in and you make them a soda like you just did, and they're like, what? Yep. Soda, mm -hmm. ice cream, fist bumping, putting toppings on their ice cream. Kids love it. Simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when we came in, you were grinding up Captain Crunch? Uh, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, Fisher's popcorn. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was yeah. Fisher, <laughs> grinding up Fisher's popcorn. But, uh, and, and, and look, yeah, just look out the door there. We are, it's just the wildest view you've ever seen in your life. And then... Every once in a while, somebody comes in and says, can I get a whistle pig milkshake? <laughs> Real quick, we've only got 15 seconds. What made you turn this into a bourbon bar? Well, I'm a, I'm a bourbon enthusiast. Um, it, it, it made sense, and um, it, here we are. Because you were telling me because of the liquor store on the other side, the whole building is basically a liquor store. Listen, we're coming back to Drug City next half hour, but this is a throwback of all throwbacks. You've got to see it to believe it. Back to you.